Hey there, everybody. I hope you are having a pleasant Tuesday evening. I have a new journal to go into the shop, guys. These are the, this is the new design that I've been working on um, for a little while before I brought it to you guys. So I just want to do a very quick flip. Uh, this is a very simple, simple little book. Um, it can be whatever you want. I, it's 30 pages. It, it it has three divider sections in it. So you've got three sections of 10 pages, of course, front and back. So, you know, make it into a dream journal, make it into a manifestation journal, make it into a spring dreams journal. <laughs> it would also be really sweet to give to someone who is maybe... Um, starting their life together, maybe for a wedding gift. This one has uh, a purple and a green butterfly. I really do like the way that the crackle paint worked on this one. It says Madame right here. Um, I think this came off of an old um, McCall's pattern, and it was talking, it was addressing the seamstress. Madame, here is your new uh, pattern for blah, blah, blah. I don't remember what it was, but it addressed the seamstress as Madame, you know, the woman of the house, the lady of the house, which I just really loved. I love the word, so I did put it on there. Um, so let's just take a quick look. This one does have kind of a celestial um, crystal-ish vibe. We can see crystals down here, planets down here, the, um, the, um, zodiac signs up here. There's a really sweet, uh, crystal-ish pattern going on here. We have a moth with, with a little, uh, moon and stars. So it does have kind of a, a little bit, just a little bit of celestial vibe to it. So, uh, 10 pages in this journal are, um, treated, which is, you know, they're collaged, stamped, um, I've done stenciling, things like that. Oh, I had to check to make sure both of my lights were on. This is a little Lucy, and she's arranged as just a little tuck spot right here. Um, of course, a little Lucy is just a, a sewn piece. Okay, I was going to stand up, but I'm not. <laughs> I think we're I think we're good and in the frame. Uh, there's some stenciling in here. A lot of blank pages for you to work with. The paper that I'm using is a cross point paper. Um, it it has a buff smooth finish to it. It's a hundred and ten pound paper, so it will really hold up to whatever you want to put on it. Now I'm saying that because I think a hundred and ten pound paper is pretty hefty. I'm not a paper expert, y'all, um, but I think 110 pound paper is, you know, it, it would take, um, probably take any media that you wanted to, to try out. And of course, you know, if you try something out and it doesn't work for you, then all you have to do is unclasp the binder rings here and just take that sucker out. That's all. <laughs> Got more of the uh, kind of celestial vibe going on. This is a little Lucy. This is an oversized Lucy. She is about the size of an actual bookmark. And there is one of my handmade buttons right here. Another collage page. And we have some stamping and stenciling. This is a little pocket right here. More stamp, stamping, stenciling, collaging. Love that star stamp. And this crown stamp. Two of my favorites. And then we've got another section here. This is arranged as a little tuck spot for you. Another little loose leaf Lucy. That is um, a little Lucy arranged as a tuck spot. And a little pocket that says, make your own magic. And of course, we do have some unfinished pages for you to write on or do whatever you want. And I have some uh, little bookmarks arranged right here for you. So you guys, this will go in the store. 
uh, a little later on tonight for $25. I've got one more of these to put together. Wait a minute. I've got two more of these to put together, and I should get those put together tomorrow. And if these don't fly out of the shop by Friday, then they are being taken out of the shop and put into my friend's retail store. So if you want one, you better snag it now because then they won't be around. Just all good things are like that. Get it now or it won't be around. Good things don't last forever. <laughs> Update on Kronk. We got honey today and he, his coughing seems to be a whole lot better. So we are quite relieved, but I will tell you having a, an unwell puppy in the house is a bit stressful and it's tiring. It's like, you know, when your child is ill and, you know, anyway, uh, thanks for listening to me ramble yet again. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great evening, y'all. Bye.